Hello and welcome to the configuration guide to my script Xanchi's Magic Door 2.0. In this video, I want to show you the possibilities how you can configure the script just about uh, by configuration. So to, you, to use the script, you have install it first. So open simply your scripts folder by open folder location, insert the three script files, this, this, and this into this folder and that's it. After copying the files, you should restart your engine so your scripts are linked in the uh, editors. So then you can use your model properties. You see I have no script at all. And I just simply add Xanchi's magic door without any properties or something else. And that's it. So now I can go to the map editor, simply put my door and draw the interaction line. Um, important to know is if you add a script in the editor to your door, it will not instantly update it to any existing door in the map. Because if you place a map into uh, an object into your map, uh, the values are copied. So the name will be copied and uh, the content of the script is loaded by runtime. So that's not a problem. But if the script name is missing, it will not be uh, updated instantly. You have to do it manually or you have to replace the door. Um, the same for properties. So we place the door and now we can try what happens. So we can simply go to the door and click on the door and it will open. That's it. We can close it and the character moves away. So you don't have to set a state like opened or closed or something else. That is a behavior out of the box. You have to do nothing than placing the door everywhere you want. Okay, next showcase. So I noticed some of you build your models other than me. So. I use the technique from Justin and Sarah from the tutorial. So every single object of mine is in the front. So my door frame is every time in the front. But some of you have the door on the back side, uh, in, the, in, the, in the back of the grid. So to change this, we have to rotate all determinations for edges and fields and something else. Um, to handle this, you can simply set a new property. So open the properties and simply Add inverse direction, and that should be in Boolean with the expression true, and that's it. Otherwise, you don't have to do anything. So, and now we have to update the door manually, order, or we have to replace it. So, this will handle the navigation, and if you see, my doors in the front. Now it would be that this line is connected and the directions to block uh, of the blocking side and so are uh, switched simply. I haven't the door to show it yet, but you can trust me, uh, it works very nice. So let's come to the next step. So also some of you have doors where the character doesn't have to move out of the panel because it's uh, opening to the to the top or something else, so the character doesn't uh, get in contact with the door panel. So um, let us stay in the map editor, so I don't have to, to edit any property at the model itself. I can just edit a single instance of the door. But if you set it to the property of the object, it's used for every single door in the future. So I want to configure now this, and it's the same way. I release this. And now I want that my character doesn't move away while opening the door. And the key there is, uh, is uh, auto move character. And that should be a Boolean with the expression false. That's it. And let's test this out. Let's go to the game. And now I can open the door, can go through the door, and the door closes, ghosting my character. So simply that's it. And the next one. So maybe some of you 
doesn't use the standard character animation tech interaction for doing some interaction with doors. So you can do a special animation for opening this instance of the door and this can be different for each door in the whole map. Also, you can change it by runtime because your character is wounded and uh, has an unnatural way to open the door or something else. Um, let's last doesn't go too deep into details. Um, to do this, you can set the interaction, the interact, sorry, interact animation override. And we will set it to the string expression like the name of my animation, which is climb. So my character should climb while open the door. However, it's just a showcase. So, and now my character will begin to climbing. That's it. And you can change it to any animation at every time. So, next showcase. Maybe some of you use a special door or wants the, the front door or uh, wants to leave the front door open so I can change my initial animation just for this door to be opened by default. And then the door would open the first time and that's wrong because it's already open. So to avoid this and change the state, we can use the property is opened. And that's a Boolean expression and should be true. If your door is closed by default, you doesn't have to set anything that's uh, automatically set by the script itself and the first interaction. So we can, no, that's wrong. We, we forgot to write the interaction note. So an open door should be like this. Okay. Let's try it again. So, and now we cannot go through the door. We can check it by the navigation debug. So, it's locked, open, locked. Everything is fine. That simply is it. Next step. The first version of Sanchi's magic doors was designed to handle just doors at the same level as the adjacent field. So. The door field itself at layer set zero implies that the adjacent tile have to be at layer zero also. I noticed that some of you doesn't do it this and uh, building uh, stairs in front of the of the door itself or something else. So I found a way to handle also this, even this. So let's set. Up the door with a field of a higher level. And now we remove this opened and set the door to closed again. And we can configure this. Um, as a background, I cannot determine the position um, by navigation nodes. It's not possible for this case. So I have to do assumptions that the door is in a directed in a specific direction and I calculating the, the neighbors and something else. And um, to get in the input, which is the difference in the high, uh, we have to set the set offset. And that's the difference between the door itself and the adjacent field as expressed as a number in set levels, set levels. So this is zero and this is four. So the offset is four. So let's check this out. And I also will enable the debug configuration, uh, the NAV configuration, uh, debug. So we see the way it's locked. We open the door and everything works pretty well. So simply that's it. And the next step, let's first uh, switch back to the standard case so like this okay and let's remove the door and place it new so we come to the next thing imagine we have a door which opens very slowly 
So you get the panel against your head if you run too fastly through the door. So the door should maybe connect the navigation paths later because it's opening as slow. So we can express this by simply, we make a demo. We reduce the animation speed to one. So we have an, a real example. So we can open the door very slowly and would be unnatural if we can run through the door at this state. So let's configure this in the map. Uh, animations are updated automatically. So we just have to set the property. And the property is um, pending time. So the door is in the pending state before open, uh, being op opened. And that's a number expression expressing the seconds and you can just use uh, decimal numbers. So let's set a 5.5 and we can try it. Let's jump in the game. Also with debug. And we will see the navigation is connected with a delay. The door opens very slowly and I, can, I cannot go through the door until now, and everything is fine. While closing the door, that isn't recognized. So uh, at the moment the door closes, you cannot go through the door because you're probably standing in the swinging area. Okay, next step. In the previous video, you have seen that um, Lord Irish uses a hangar gate, which is closing automatically. If we want to do this, we can set the open time. So let me first reset my animations to the standard cases. Okay. So, and now we want to configure that the door op uh, closes automatically after 10 seconds. So what will happen? So first we set the open time to a number expression in seconds, which should be 10 and we jump in the game and what happens is the door would open after 10 seconds it closes automatically without a new character interaction so the character interacts and i and look at the character the door closes and it's no new character animation because it's looks very weird if you're going through the house and your character makes an interaction animation um, while not interacting with anything. So that's it. And come to the next. So another use case is that you don't use the standard animation names for your door or your door has an um, other state where it's uh, damaged and this uses an other animation with a damaged panel or something else. So we can set also this by using the open animation over right and also the close animation over right. You don't have to you, you don't have to use it together. You can do this, but you haven't. You can use simply one of this expression. So, and I use uh, the alternated names uh, open two and also close two. But it can simply be anything which is a, a name expression, a key for the animations, and you can change also this at one time. So, and now we see a changed animation for the doors. For the door. So my door is swiping to the side. Okay. And then we come to sound. Sound is pretty important for ambient of the game. So you want to use sound, I think, and you, I think you 
don't want to adapt or modify my script by yourself. So you can simply set the sounds by using your sound files. I prepared two of them, the open a door open and door close, WAV, I think. Um, so let's configure. It's the open sound file and also an optional the close sound file. You see, every property is every time optional. You don't have to use it if you need it. So when we use the door open, WAV, and the door close, WAV, and that's it. And now we have sound for our door. So here, A longer sound while opening and a shorter while closing. And that's it. So let's come to the last point. If the door opens, the panel is swinging around and shouldn't hit your character. So you can define in which direction the block should be. So it simply defines, um, it's defined by the middle of the field to the door. So my door opens in this direction, which is the right side of my monitor now. Or simply you can say it here. You look from the middle of the grid to the door and it opens to the right side. So we can configure that at our door. You can also configure the left side. It's uh, just up to yours and your your needs. So we, oh no, I have to select the door. And then I can configure it blocks two, and that's a string value expression, which can be left or right, where my door blocks to the right. So simply that's it. It also can block to the left, but it's unnatural. So let's see it in the debug a last time. So we see this line is closed, this is opened, and if we open the door, it would be switched. So that's it. What do you think about the script? Is it helpful for your project? Do you like it? Is it makes it the life easier for you so maybe let me know in the comments and like every time if you like what i do give me thumbs up i would be very happy about the subscription so youtube share my tutorials over the audience and more people recognizes that this happens or that this is um, this is present and they can use it so Stay tuned and hopefully we see you in the next video. Bye.